Well, noob time, what do you think about Ricochet? I mean, what's the point, Kairos? You can't even auto-aim with him. Oh, man, noob time. Haven't you learned anything from watching my videos? Uh, yeah, well, Kairos, I don't know how to tell you this, but... I don't watch your videos. This. This. This is why you are noob time. Hello fellow brawlers, I'm Kairos Time and it is time to brawl and talk about Ricochet. Today we're going to be doing a guide on him because you guys have been suggesting it and rightfully so. Ricochet is one of the hardest brawlers to master but once you do so, he can be so strong. After today's video, you'll have everything you need to know to shoot your balls off the walls and become a ball bouncing master like the best of us. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video so you do not miss a single tip. And of course, guys, here's what we can expect for today's video. An in-depth look at his stats and mechanics, the best modes and maps to play him. We'll also include the brawlers that he does well and poorly against, as well as talk about some advanced tech to using Rico. Starting off with Ricochet's basic mechanics. For his attack, bouncy bullets, Ricochet shoots off a string of bullets that can bounce off of walls. When a bullet actually bounces off a wall, it will actually increase the distance at which his total range will reach. And currently it increases the range by one and two thirds tiles for every single bounce up to five bounces. This allows Ricochet to dominate corridors and give him an abnormal amount of control. For his super trick shot, Ricochet fires off a ton of shots that can actually pierce through enemies, allowing him to hit multiple brawlers at once. Each bullet can only deal damage to the same target once, so you don't actually deal additional damage by hitting a brawler, then it bounces off of a wall and hitting that same brawler again. So don't waste your time trying to do this if you already have a clear shot. His super has one of the longest ranges in the game, even without having the bounces, which do also increase the range of his super. For a star power super bouncy, Ricochet's bullets deal an extra 80 damage if they bounce at least once, and this actually works for both his attack and his super. This is actually an additional 400 damage with every single attack if all of the balls actually hit their target. Now let's take a deeper look into his actual stats and see how he compares to every other brawler in the game. As you can see, Ricochet is a brawler of extremes. He can deal more damage than most brawlers in the game. He has a fast reload speed, which allows him to utilize his attack, which those two combined give him a very high DPS, and he can also outrange most brawlers. And this graph right here is excluding the bonus range that he gets from bouncing off his shots. Not to mention the fact that he has a very fast super recharge rate. All of these are huge strengths to Ricochet, and they are all balanced upon him having one major weakness, and that is an incredibly low HP, where it is the lowest in the game, tied with a few other brawlers. This makes it very important for Ricochet to keep his distance from enemy brawlers. And as a side note, he also has the slowest movement speed in the game, tied with actually the majority of brawlers. For ease of use, I would give Ricochet a 1 out of 5, meaning that it is not very easy to use him when you very first pick him up. And for skill cap, I would give him a 5 out of 5, meaning that <laughs> he is one of the hardest to master in the game. Ricochet takes a lot of practice to perfect because of his low HP and mechanics with the bounce shots. Manually aiming is absolutely essential as Ricochet so you can learn to bounce his shots. And like all brawlers, uh, Rico is effective at auto aim at very close ranges, but once again, because of his low HP, you should not be at a close range, and that means that you should actually be manually aiming the vast majority of his shots. This is especially true because auto aim will obviously not bounce his shots perfectly for you. The difference between a good ricochet and a pro ricochet is how effectively and efficiently they can use his bounce shots, which is why he has such an incredibly high skill cap. Now let's talk about the best modes and maps to play ricochet in. Here's a graph that shows ricochet's best game modes. Now ricochet is highly map specific, so even though Gem grab is his best mode, I wouldn't play him on all gem grab maps. Additionally, while I wouldn't play him on showdown very much, there are some maps where he can actually be pretty good. It all comes down to how many walls there are and whether or not there are some good corridors for Ricochet to actually bounce his shots off of. Starting off Ricochet, I would not play him in Brawl Ball. Uh, because of his low HP, Ricochet isn't very good in showdown, but he can be played on Cavern Churn if you are very careful and very skilled and stay away from the center bushes. Uh, he can also be played on Double Trouble, Hot Maze, Rock Wall Brawl. Ricochet can be played in high as long as he has a teammate who can actually break walls and give him access to that safe, such as Bull, Colt, or Dynamite. For maps, he can be played on Kaboom Canyon, but he's especially good on Bone Tunnel. His second best game mode is going to be Bounty, but you have to be very careful because of how low his HP is. For maps, he does well on Hideout, Outlaw Camp, Snake Prairie, Stone Fort, and Temple Ruins. But by far, Ricochet's best game mode is Gem Grab, where he is a support brawler with the goal of keeping the enemy team pushed back. If you successfully push a brawler back or take them out, rather than actually pushing up and overextending, you should 2v1 the enemy gem carrier with your teammate. And as a reminder, 
Unless you absolutely have to, Ricochet should not be picking up the gems because he just has so very low survivability. Instead, he should be played on one of the sides of the map that will be best for him to bounce shots and control a large part of the field. His best gem grab maps, as well as which side he typically is best played on, is going to be Crystal Cavern on the left, Deep Siege on the right, Hard Rock Mine on the right, and then Stone Fort and Undermine on either the left or the right side. Now let's go ahead and quickly cover the best matchups and the worst matchups for Rico, and of course, Everybody that's in between. Now, one thing that's important for you to recognize is that you can absolutely outskill any person that you are playing as long as you have more skills than them. But typically, Ricochet is a very good counter against Bull, El Primo, Frank, Bo, Jesse, Poco, Spike, Shelly, and Terra. And he's poor against Brock, Piper, Barley, Dynamite, Colt, and Penny. Then, of course, there are the skill based brawlers where it really just comes down to which player outplays each other. And for those brawlers, we've got Crow, Daryl, Leon, Mortis, Nita, Pam, and Rico, of course. Okay, guys, now let's go ahead and cover some advanced tech and tips to mastering Rico. When you're mastering those bank shots, it's really tempting for you to, like, get up close so you can bank it so that you can can reach somebody behind the corner when in fact you'll actually be like right up next to the corner and while that extra damage from his star power is beneficial if all of his shots actually do hit an enemy brawler it's only about the equivalent of one extra bullet from ricochet so if you can't actually just reach somebody naturally with those bounced shots you shouldn't just go for it just because you want to do some cool trick shots because it'll oftentimes just waste ammo and make you lose focus on what's actually going on around you now for his main attack it looks like when you're aiming that all of the shots are just going to go in a straight line but they actually do not go in a straight line if you think of pam's attack how it just kind of like weaves back and forth like that there's a little bit of a spread with rico's attack as well which doesn't impact things very much but at the very end range of his shot it can make his shots be a little bit more spread this is also true with the super which is one of the reasons why it does such a good job at controlling such a big part of the map one of the hardest yet the coolest things that you can do when you're playing with ricochet is actually going and standing right next to the wall and instead of firing off toward a brawler firing off immediately at the wall and bouncing it toward the enemy brawler and this will actually increase ricochet's range beyond what it normally would be if he would have just aimed it at a player this actually allows him to outrange both brock and piper when normally he actually has a shorter range than them similar to colt where it's very important to strafe your shots which is where you like lead your shots and then mirror the movement patterns of the enemy brawler so that you actually hit more shots on them ricochet can actually take strafing to a whole other level with his bounces not only can he move left with the target or move right with the target or fall back or move forward with the target when an enemy is close to a wall you can actually use that wall to bounce in a specific way so that your shots will still hit them now there's a trick to actually making this work out okay when you have an enemy player that is actually close enough to a wall where you can bounce his shots you want to aim your shots so that they will bounce off of the wall directly in front of the enemy player now, obviously this is going to help you gain additional damage using his star power but it actually allows rico to do some different movement patterns so that no matter which which way they are moving you're able to hit them if they're walking toward you you can move toward the wall so that the shots will still bounce before hitting them if they're walking away from you you can walk away from the wall to do the same if they're walking away from the wall you can walk away from them or toward the wall so your shots will still hit them and if they're walking toward the wall you can walk toward them or away from the wall to still hit them now, all of that sounds really complex and kind of crazy but that's actually a really simple situation and a lot of pro players do understand these and actually implement it instantly in their gameplay one cool thing about his super is that if he fires off his shots and all of them hit an enemy brawler then uh he will actually recharge up his super with a single super so yeah he can just like fire off super after super after super if he really wants to. Now, I've said it before, but I'm going to re-emphasize it, and that is the fact that Rico's star power goes a very long way in additional damage if you're able to consistently utilize it. That makes bouncing his shots very important, and like I've said in previous videos, if you're going to play Rico like Colt, just play Colt. But if you're going to play Rico like Rico, then, uh, your enemies in a world of hurt. One cool thing to note is that if he does actually have his star power, if Rico is maxed out, then his regular shots will look just like regular balls, but after they bounce for the first time, they will start to glow a nice bright light color, and that signifies that additional 80 damage from each individual shot. Now we know that those actually deal 80 additional damage, and we also know that his super will only deal damage to a brawler once, even if it bounces off the wall and hits them a second time. What this means is that it is ideal if you have his super and you have the opportunity of just firing off at them or firing off an enemy brawler by first bouncing it off of a wall you should bounce it off of a wall because 
it's not going to bounce back and deal that additional 80 damage the second time that ball actually hits the brawler. Now let's quickly cover a couple of tips on how to counter Rico. The first thing that you need to do is you have to bridge the gap between Rico and you so that you can actually deal damage to him. This means learning how to juke his shots. This means using bushes. And it also means staying more out in the open areas so that Rico can't use the walls to actually bounce them off and increase his range and deal more damage to you. Or also bounce them from angles that you can't actually reach him. And that actually brings me to my second tip, and that is to learn where Rico can actually hit his targets from, from bouncing them off of walls. There are two things that you should do to master this, and that is going to be, first of all, pay attention when you're playing against an enemy Rico, and remember where he's actually able to hit so you don't make those same mistakes of going exactly where he was able to hit you one point. And the second is to actually play Rico a lot and mess around with bouncing shots off of walls and stuff. If you have to play with bots to do so, you can do that as well. But by playing Ricochet a ton, you're gonna remember those locations that you're actually able to bounce shots off of walls to hit people, and that'll be a huge benefit to you. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and you're excited to go out and bounce those balls off of those walls. I mean, I know I am. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you do not miss future brawler guides and absolutely let me know in the comment section below which brawler you want to see next because I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but I'm literally picking the brawlers that you guys suggest. So yeah, that would be a good idea. For now, this is Carl's time ticking by and we will see you in Brawl Stars.